So the final thing we need to do is work out how to actually send these notifications. Now this is kind of a bit of a mess of certificates and tokens and all sorts of complicated things. And it also is dependent on what sort of back. So for this video, I'm just going to show you how to get those certificates done, saved on your local computer. And I will use a little example script to send notifications to my phone, but not any actual implementation of anything useful. So to get those certificates, we have to go back to the developer website. So if we go back to our app, set, app IDs, and here we have all the settings. I've selected my notification tutorial app ID. We have two orange balls next to push notifications, both saying configurable. That's because we can configure our certificates, our SSL certificates. So because we're just doing a development thing, we're going to we're going to set up a developer certificate. So click the button. First thing we need to do on our Mac is set up a certificate signing request. We do that in Keychain. And we go into Keychain Access, Certificate Assistant, and request a certificate from a certificate authority. And we put in, you put in your email address up here, your name, you don't need this email address, you leave this blank and click save to disk, then click continue. And when you click continue, it'll ask you where to save it. I'm going to save it in um, certificates. Probably spell it wrong. And then just save it in this folder. Okay, so we have our signing request. We go back over to the developer site, click continue. Choose that signing request file from here and then click generate finally. This will take a sec. And after a few seconds, we have our push notification signing request that we can download and put in our folder. So now that we have our certificate from Apple, we need to double click to open it in Keychain. And then over in certificates, as you can see, we have our certificate in here. We want to right click, export, and we're exporting it as a P12 file. We can save it in our certificates folder. Set a password to it. And then your system password. And now you have your P12 file. The next thing we need to do is go into terminal and change this to a PEM file. And to do that, we need to use just one command. That's the command that I just put in there. And we're calling this certificates. Just go across and change this. I will include a link to a, um, I'll include an annotation to where you can just copy and paste this command into um, terminal on your computer. Then click enter. You need to put in the password for your certificate. So, And there you go. We have our PEM file. Now I'm using a, so this is a Ruby script with a gem called Houston that takes our certificate, the token and what we want our alert to say, and sends this request to APNS with a category that we can use for action notifications. And again, custom data, which I'm pretty sure is the equivalent to user info. And all this is sent to APNS and it can come up on our phone. So we can do this from terminal. So in terminal, and just to show you that this does work, here in terminal, I'm gonna run this script. So Ruby, um, I think it's called APNS send. Oops. First thing at once is our device token, which we can get from here. First thing at once is our device token, which we can get from here. Copy and paste that in and then our message, so. And then that has actually sent, that has sent the notification through APNS and it just came up on my phone. 